what's going on guys back at it again with another fallout 76 video so in this one the very first mission that i'm planning to do here for the channel is going to be minor miracles this is a relatively short mission so on top of that we're definitely going to do an organic solution on top of that and that one's kind of like a like a like a medium-sized uh, mission, I guess. So depending on how long it takes to do those two missions, I'll make a determination at the end, seeing as if we're going to do another mission or just cut it at that time. So that all just depends on how long it takes to do these two missions. But for now, I definitely want to get started on this video. I'm going to stay with this suit or this outfit, seeing as we're doing another mining-related uh, quest. And one more thing. I do have right here... A full set you can't really see it because it's not labeled or renamed or anything but this is a full set of excavator power armor I transferred it over from my main character over to this character only because it takes forever to to grind uh, all the materials needed to craft this suit and I'm far from what I need to be able to do that so I'm basically just I basically just transferred it over that way as soon as we get to the point where we have to craft it we'll skip the actual crafting part and go straight to the registration and we'll be good to go so if you're excited for this video do me a huge favor drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and let's go ahead and jump into this all right so we don't really have to do anything in particular we just have to go over there the it's over here at the uh mining the garahan mining headquarters as you can see right here investigate Garahan uh, Mining Headquarters. It's kind of funny because the Garahan Company is the direct competition to the Hornwright Industrial uh, Company that we did in the previous video. So it's pretty funny how we're going from from one company to its direct competitor. So let's go ahead and vote oh, 36 caps. Luckily I have the caps, but let's go ahead and fast travel all the way over there. That way we can get this party started. Realistically, my main character's main set of power armor isn't anything that has to do with combat, believe it or not. It's actually the excavator power armor. I can show you uh, once we get to the point, but uh, I basically have both legs as um, calibrated for the extra 100. Uh, so first things first, the excavator power armor gives you already from the start an extra 100 carry weight. And on top of that... I have both legs calibrated, so that's an extra 50 each, so that's another 100 on top of that. So just by having those two calibrated and an excavator, that's 200 extra carry weight. But on top of that, I also have the assisted servos for the chest piece, I believe it is, which also gives you like plus, like, I think it's like plus one strength or something like that. And uh, it, it really does help. So all together, man, I have like a plus, a, like a million and a half uh, carry weight. So it's pretty amazing. So we can safely say and assume, well, that blew up a little late, that there's definitely going to be robots here. So should be interesting. Man, I really hope. Bethesda finds out a way to get these um, loading times smaller or s like quicker because it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, it looks like we just got liberators. I barely have destroy five liberators after all this time. That's crazy. All right, let's see if I can get through this. Nope, nope, that's my answer. Get out of there. Die, you liberators! The only thing you'll liberate is your soul. Get out of here! Wait, where are you at? Oh, he's already dead. Anybody else want some? I have plenty where that comes from. Alright. Well, there's definitely someone here, but let's see if we can get through this without having to do anything. Well, we already found the checkpoint, so... Any quarries regarding uh, the excavator power armor? Bam, right there, buddy. Buddy, uh, pro the uh, project should be directed to the Harold Frost in our research and development division. 
Do not attempt to answer any questions directed to you by clients or the press. Sounds good. So I guess we got to go to the uh, research and development portion. Uh, all employees are cordially invited to our annual family fun day on November 11th. Why does that day sound familiar? I don't know why. Um, 2077. I will be featuring a barbecue buffet. Uh, plenty of ice cold Nuka Cola. Man, I've always wanted to drink an actual Nuka Cola. Man, I swear I don't know why. Even if, even though it's a, just a video game thing, it just it seriously sounds refreshing. But anyways, and all the ice cream you can eat. Mom and Dad can relax in our huge canvas pavilion while they listen to the musical stylings of Rod Torfulson's Armada. For the kids, we'll have uh, pony rides, a clown show... And a crafts tent for making that perfect Thanksgiving centerpiece. Please see Anne in HR for details. Looks like it's Anne or Annie from the other from from this place from Hornwright. Oh snap! Might be one of those too good to be true type things for Hornwright. A serious security breach has occurred at our headquarters. Two of our generators had wires cut and several file cabinets set ablaze. We strongly believe that this was an attempt by Hornwright Industrial at, Sab uh, Industrial at Sabotage. Nothing critical was destroyed, but the fact that our security was bypassed is a cause for concern. If you see anyone inside the facility uh, without the proper badge, inform, security, informed, inform a security officer immediately. Oh, yeah, I, I was. I thought this was gonna say something about Garahan sabotaging Hornwright, but I guess it's backwards. Uh, break rooms. Uh, it's cut. Well, it kind of makes sense because Hornwright was. Uh, if you guys remember, they were kind of sleazy. Even their test was sleazy. To be an executive, you have to like bribe and all kinds of crazy stuff. But all right, anyways. It's come to our attention that break rooms in our facility have been left in appallingly poor condition. When you've completed your break, be sure to pick up any trash or leftover uh, foodstuffs and dispose of them properly. We all, look, uh, we all work long hours here, and I'm certain we collectively wish to enjoy a clean and healthy work environment. They seem... They seem responsible. Man vs. Machine event. Ooh, this sounds cool. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation in the aftermath of our defeat. Also, oh, they lost at the man versus machine event. So were they man or were they machine? I would assume man because they have this rivalry against Hornwright, and Hornwright did the whole mother load things, and they were machines. And here you get the excavator power armor, which is a man in a in a in a suit basically. So I'm assuming the excavator lost. And I felt it was time to set the record straight. As of this moment, all operations involving the excavator power armor, see, are on hold. What? So they lost and they were now putting their stuff on hold? That's crazy. Until we can reevaluate. Any questions from the press or communications from Hornwright Industrial are to be immediately uh, forwarded to the CEO's office. Damn, this is, this is big. More information will follow in the coming weeks. Thank you for all your patience and perseverance. Damn, dude. So they lost the competition against Hornwright. Garahan did. And as a result of their loss, they were forced to basically give up the whole project of, of the uh, excavator power armor. This is a power armor stand, by the way. I kind of wish we had a power armor stand like this for our camps. So we can actually like properly display power armors. Any um Oh, there's a thing here. So let's let's listen to this. What the hell? <laughs> I can't believe we lost. We had one chance to prove that our excavator power armor could beat the Hornwright Auto Miner and we blew it. Why Vivian came up with her ridiculous challenge is beyond me. She never even consulted with us. Just just rolled it out there like a prize fight. The newspapers got a hold of it. Everything blew out of proportion. 
Now we're the laughing stock of the mining industry. I mean, who in their right mind would buy any products from us after that? No one. So, so here I am, staring at the phone, waiting for the inevitable call to shut the R&D department down. Vivian bet all our chips on this project, and Garahan Mining has wiped out. I wonder if Hornwright is hiring. Damn. Well, I mean, that answers the question, which obviously by reading the terminal we already knew, but still. So, excavator model blueprint. So, by clicking this, we get the blueprints to craft. Uh, blue, uh, excavator power armor module blueprints downloaded to external database. So, see, all the crafting for the power armor is now complete. Personal logs. Um, it's only been a few weeks since Vivian pulled me out of the U.S. Army Research Corps, uh, and I'm setting it. I'm settling in at Garahan. One thing's for certain: working in the private sector has its its advantages. No one or nobody consistently looking over my shoulder. No daily reports submitted in triplicates no accounting for every last penny as long as i show results i'm left alone to do what i do best component testing for the ex17 i'm so assuming that's the code for excavator power armor and 17 is probably just the nomenclature or something uh excavator project are proceeding ahead of schedule and hopefully the team will have a prototype up and running within a few months we're running into durability issues with the excavators chassis the extra punishment the arms units take when boring uh into bedrock is causing micro stress fractures and sheared gears assemblies bryce suggested we look into black titanium as an alternative since it's native to the area and might provide the tensile strength needed to keep the arm components from tearing themselves apart. I wish we had access to the ore when we were designing the T-45, but I don't think the army would have wanted to uh, foot the bill for the refinement process. As soon as Vivian gives us her stamp of approval, we'll cast new dies and get the parts molded. So that actually explains why you actually need crafting the uh, to black titanium crafting material to make this. They were having problems with gears and stuff like that, so they started making the the, the sensitive parts that were getting micro uh, fractures. They were making those parts with black titanium since it's stronger and more durable. So that makes sense. We're two months we're two months into the hole and have nothing to show for it. Vivian's breathing down our necks for results, and we keep hitting uh, roadblocks after. Uh, right after we casted all the parts in black titanium, we realized the suit's extra weight would require a more efficient re reactor. We're already way past spec with the repurposed T-45 reactor, and we keep surfacing overheating and stability issues. We're going to need something else to give the power plant uh, more punch. I think I may have found the solution, but I'm hesitant to log my results until I'm sure... The Garahans will go along with the plan. Hmm, I wonder what that is. After a few slagged reactors and a near meltdown, we finally have Ultrasite powering the excavator. What? Vivian wasn't exactly thrilled making the 10-year commitment AMS was demanding for their patented ore. But it had exactly the power output and radiation signature we needed. All that remains now is mounting the ultrasite fired reactor into the chassis and see if we can get this beast to move some rock. Show and tell day is here, and I'm nervous as hell. We're unveiling the excavator to the press almost three months ahead of schedule. Between AMS unveiling with Toga and Hornwright uh, stepping up their game with their auto miners, 
the pressure's been on to get the unit, uh, f uh, the unit field ready. I've had my teams working around the clock for almost a month straight. As for myself, I've barely been getting uh, uh getting by by on a steadily diet of coffee of coffee, cigarettes, and stale donuts. Uh, if the excavator performs even close to our expectations, we're guaranteed to give both AMS and Hornwright a run for their money. Fingers crossed. Well, we already know they lost, at bare minimum, to the to the uh, Hornwrights. Uh, but then the Hornwright sabotaged AMS. This is a crazy freaking <laughs> company battle. The third excavator just rolled out uh, off of our assembly line, and I couldn't be happier. The first two units have been up and running for almost a month now, and we haven't had a single serious breakdown or maintenance issue. Everyone on the mining team wants to get their hands on these suits. Bryce has been continuously or continually uh, piloting one of those excavators. He's already shattered Garahan's uh, record for all for amount of ore extracted in a single day. Vivian surprised us all by rolling out a huge ad campaign. Pitching our suits, taking on Hornwright's auto miners like a Friday night's boxing match. To say that this project has a has been a success is an understatement. I think it might be time to take that vacation before things heat up around here again. All right. So, oh, wait, really quick. There was one more thing that I didn't get to read, and that was, oops, that was the excavator registration. The X seventeen. So before it was EX seventeen. Now it's EXC seventeen. Okay. Um, so excavator suit used, uh, uses patented ore sniffing technology developed in the conjunction with the West Tech Corporation. Helmet sensor calibration protocols are, are proprietary information and require registration interference with Garahan's mainframe. Cool. All right. So now it's telling us to, that we have to, uh, craft. But I already have one, so let's go ahead and drop it. Uh, but I'll show you what it takes to craft really quick. So I'll go into the crafting menu. Uh, excavator power armor. Uh, if you see here, for a level 45, it, it requires 9 black titanium, 16 glass, 18 rubber, uh, 14 screws, and 24 steel. Dude, look at how little of all of this I have. And that's just for one part. This would have taken me forever. All right, for the torso, level 45, 9, 14, nuclear material as well. Oh, man, this is it's definitely a hefty price. But let's go ahead and get in this so that we can skip the whole crafting thing. So from here, once we craft it, we go straight to the registration, but we don't have to craft because we already have it. So let's go ahead and register. And just like that, we now have completed the quest. Woohoo! Oh yeah, and of course, this is how you get the power armor station. Uh, so let's go into my notes really quick and read those plans. Oh, I got a combat rifle plan. Where did I get all these plans from? I don't even know where I got these plans from. Power armor stations, vault tech jumpsuit. Don't mind if I do. No recipes. All right, cool. All right, well, let's go on. Looks like we're doing pretty good timing. Let's go ahead and fast travel from here all the way up here. Because now we got to go... Oh, that's expensive. Do the next mission. Oh, look at that. That's uh, the thumbnail for the last video. <laughs> that was a pretty cool mission, but... It was really bugged for some reason for me. It kept on messing up. And I have no idea why. Alright, so here there's a lot of freaking bugs. So, first things first, I want to go around and make sure... Die! Oh god. There we go. Ah! Away with you! 
I have been stung by the poisons of the blood bug. It's all good. They can't touch this. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Woo! This build is tanky, dude. I love it. Alrighty. So, we found her. Let's take her thing. Uh, backpack. Alright, so... Is a hollow tape right? Ellis research. There we go. So strangler feed. Key ingredient: irradiate, uh, irradiated, irradiated bone meal. Best source: death claw nests. So we gotta find death claw nests to find irradi irradiated bone meal. Uh, chemicals to locate at dire chemicals. So that's our next location as well. We need to get some nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Uh, mix at dire chemical and flush into the river to permeate the swamp and get these pods blooming. Sea logs for more details. Don't hate me. See tracking bone meal entry to locate. Okay. Tracking bone meal. So thanks to Niraj's absolute amazing daughter... Abby, from Abby's Bunker, <laughs> I now have a working bone uh, meal tracker. That's right. All you in interested parties, this lady's not impressed with your flowers or sweet talk. You got medical or technical expertise? I'm yours. Ooh, an intelligent young lady. I love this girl. Uh, she set up a station that uses a... Uh, uses the radiation detector meter on the pit boy so all i need to do is install it uh to get it to work then i just need to polish the death claw uh, polish up my death claw slaying skills install the radio congratulations you have uh you now have the ability to track down highly radiated death claw excrement with ella's so lovely calls bone meal for an exciting time, tune into your friendly radi radiation signature tra tracker station. Good luck. Happy hunting, Abby. Thank you, Abby. All right, well, there's one more log. Oh, we got a lot of this stuff. All right, so flower. What is it? Flower power? I'm getting this show on the road because radiation isn't going to cure itself. To start, I'm working with purified water, antiseptic, and some fresh strangler pods. Almost lost my hand to a gulper getting these babies, but Randy shot him square in the face with a shotgun. So score one for uh, one point for humanity. First test: I'm going to run with your typical boiled re uh, reduction of the pods and see what shakes out. So here's the results of that. It turns out the boiled reduction uh, was a no-go with the pod casting itself. That thing soaked up radiation like a sponge in seawater. I scoped out the innards and boiled them for about 30 minutes to get a good proper reduction. Mixed in the antiseptic. Uh, I'd say the radio is about 3 to 1 right now. Reduction antiseptic water. I tested it on Charlie since he was going hunting uh, anyway. No adverse effects, but who knows? It's Charlie. He's not the brightest bulb, but at least he's uh, easy on the eyes. Rat shield. Wouldn't you know it? That first test worked, uh, though not as well as I, I'd have l uh, liked. Charlie said the radiation in the water didn't seem to bother him, but... I couldn't tell from my readings that it wasn't as effective as it should have been. I, I'm willing to bet it's because they haven't bloomed. This just means I need to brainstorm a way to get these babies blooming. Some sort of fertilizer maybe? Uh, time to get the old gears turning. Formulating fertilizer. Let's go. I've been wrestling with all the... with this all night but i think i got half i got a half cooked plan that just might work dire chemicals not far and i'm pretty sure it's got what i need i'm thinking we 
go for the trifecta. First, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, but it'll need a kicker. Radiation made these stranglers what they are today, so maybe it needs a little radioactive punch. This swamp's choke, uh, uh, chalk full of homemade radioactive bone meal, which could be just what the doctor ordered. Sure, the best place to find it may be in a death claw nest, but getting those flowers to bloom will be worth it. With a little help from Abby, I think we made a decent way to find some too. Now, I just need to get this to Rayleigh from Rayleigh's bunker. Uh, so I can get a team together and see where this goes. So clearly this person was in the free states. I mean, it even says free states on the little pip thing. All right, so first things first, we have to go to the radio and install the tracker. All right. All right, so, uh, weird though, because it's still showing, it says find Ella's research. We already found the research, but let's go ahead and double check just in case we miss something. Yeah, see, there's nothing in here and there's nothing in her inventory. So we're, we should be good, but I think we got to go this way. So let's go ahead and go over there. It shouldn't be too long of a trek. The problem is that it's a pretty big area. But I vaguely remember where the Deathclaw Nest is. I remember it was like in the water pretty much. Alright, so... Looks like we got scorched. Yep. You know what? Let's go over there and kick their asses. Why not? Ah! No. Die! Where's the rest of them? Oh, they're fighting little, tiny little raiders. Hi! Dude, they almost killed him. Come here! I guess I'm gonna have to use that against you. Oh shit. Ah! Die! Die, you crab! I mean, I'm doing pretty decent against them though. If it wasn't for the damn stagger. Leave! Me! Ah! Alone! Dude, I beat up a hermit crab, uh, crab with this build. It was doing radiation against me though. Hiya! Shut up! <laughs> Those freaking hermit crabs, dude, they're like. They're brutal. Yay, I killed them all! I can tell because I'm healing. Alright, let's go find this death claw. This build is actually pretty good. Where are you at? Come here. Let's be friends. I guess you want to be more friends with my uh, revolutionary sword, I see. Alright, there it is, right there. I can tell because that's definitely a death claw. Run! Oh man, I would miss. So, blocking doesn't really work against them, but my power attacks are pretty legit. Look at that. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, look, we got some black titanium. Actually, you know what? I'll take the meat, too. Alright, bone meal. Thank you very much, kind citizen. So, where are we going now? Collect. So, dire chemical? Yep, Dire Chemical. We can actually just fast travel there. It's cheap anyways. We actually destroyed that Hermit Crab and that Death Claw, man. That was pretty legit. Too legit to quit. What? What? Get off. Yeah, I'm really liking this building. Honestly, it's not even fully optimized yet. 
there's still a few things that I got to do. So probably in between this video and whenever the next video comes out, probably tomorrow or maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm probably going to grind out a few levels so I can potentially, you know, optimize this a little bit better. But the thing about this place, this place definitely has a bunch of robots. And I don't like robots because they hit hard, especially the Mitsugutsis. Well, I guess they don't hit that hard. They barely did anything to me. And I'm not really worried about uh, Protectrons, to be honest. Oh, definitely not worried about Ibox. I'm trying to kill you, you know. Oh, go ahead. You can try all you want. Haha. -ha. I mean, you could try, Mr. Gutsy, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I, I tried warning you. Oh God, we gotta. Oh God. Oh god, oh god, I gotta kick this guy's ass real quick. Alright, let's go around the back. Take a quick stim pack. And you know what? We're gonna Rambo this shit. I don't even care. Geronimo! Oh my god, that worked! <laughs> oh, let's wait for him to blow up. Hopefully those stupid ass robo brains get hurt. Oh man. All right, I'm not worried about any of that right now. Die. Mr. Brain. Don't hit me. All right, I'll come back to you guys. For now I'm going to come in this direction so I can get the nitrogen. Okay, the potassium. Got it. Oh, you're cute. It's a level one too. All right, so let's go. I mean, let's go this way, I guess. We're probably gonna have to fight some robots because we cleared that side. Seem to be willing to do the world a favor and kill yourself. I guess I'm going to have to do it for you. <laughs> These Mr. Gutsies are freaking awesome. And barely. All right, what do we got next? Die! Got him. Who's shooting at me? Alright, well, he's up there. For now, let's go ahead and pick up the phosphorus. And now we're definitely going to go up there and kick that dude's ass because he's kicking my. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. And then that. Oh, God. Don't die. Die! Woo! I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that this build is pretty tanky. Who did that? Oh, I'm gonna Toronimo your ass. I'm a much better tactician than you. Are you now? I'm like Rambo, but with swords. Oh, dude, I was gonna leave you alone. Keyword was. Now you have to die. Why do you gotta be so stupid? Knock knock. Where are you at? Uh, I'm gonna kill you right now. Just give me, just, just, just give me a second. I gotta pick up this nitrogen really quick. And then, hi ya. I guess I'll take this. So deposit the chemicals, deposit the bone meal. Um, it's over here on this side. We have to go to the second floor. Right? Uh, right over here, this way. Toronimo! I'm definitely like Rambo, but with swords. Come at me, bro. Oh, you know what? I cut. Oh, I guess I should have deposit the stuff first, huh? Whoops. Deposit that. 
Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to work here. Um, deposit the nitrogen. Deposit the phosphorus. Deposit the potassium. Now let's go ahead and go in here. Uh, confirm. Begin production? Flush? Is that it? Collect? Where am I collecting from? When this is all over. Oh, I have to get Strangler Bloom. Haha. Uh -huh. Go away. Luckily for us... I know exactly where there's Strangler Bloom. Oh, you wanna slap me? Kill. Kill. Woo! There's... Right there. I see it, actually. There's two of them. We'll get, we'll get both of them. It won't hurt. Ah! Let's go! Actually, there's another one right here, too. There's a lot of Strangler Bloom. That's amazing. Give it to me. Alright, let's go back. Alright, cool. And just like that... We got the Strangler Bloom. I remember the first time I did this mission, I really had no idea what the hell Strangler Bloom was. And I went up and down all over the place looking for it, and it was right in front of my face the whole time. So, craft. Um, science projects? No. Healing. Rad Shield. Yay! Completed an organic solution. Whoop whoop! Let's see what I bet. I bet you we get more rad shield. Three, if I had to guess. Oh, I'm good. Man, I'm good. It's a good guess. All right. So looks like we are a little short. Let's see our data and see if there's any quick mission that we can do really fast. Mm. No, because I want to do this one in the next video. This one is probably going to be its own video. Well, these two are probably going to be their own videos. And then this one. Yeah, this one and then this one are probably going to be one video. But, so I think that's going to have to do it for today, though. Yeah, I mean, all right. I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, if you like this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.